So let's just take a few minutes to look at the steps required to get Data Page Plus working correctly with PC Demos. The first time you start up Data Page Plus, you'll need to log in as the administrator. If you leave a check mark next to Remember Me, then PC Demos will build a small icon representing the administrator login name. The default password to enter is going to be simple. It's 123456. We'll select the login icon. And by default, we'll be connected to the demo database. And you can see that in the lower right-hand side of our screen. And if I double-click on the icon labeled All Parts, we can see there are already some parts inside of this demo database that you're able to play around with to generate reports. Now what I want to do is I want to build my own database to write data to. So to build a new database, we're going to select Tools, and we're going to select Database Connection. And from the dialog that appears, I'm going to select the Create Database button. The first thing you need to do is specify a path where this data is going to be stored. It's actually stored in a file, and I'm going to hit the browser, and I've created a folder under the public users called SPC data. And so I'm going to let my databases reside there. And for the database name, I'm going to give it a name that I will remember. So I'm calling it Grants Database 1. And I'm going to select these other two options as well. Create a database instance associated with the local SQL Express. And also create an ODBC data source. We're going to refer to this ODBC data source inside of PC Demos when we're generating our uh, statistical output. So we want to check that. And I'll select OK. PC Demos will generate the new database. And then I'll hit the Test Connection button to make sure that it's able to talk to that database. I'll select OK again. And now Data Page wants us to log out and to log in to this new database. So I'm going to select OK. We'll keep the administrator username. We'll enter 123456 as our password. And we'll select Login. If I double click on All Parts now, you can see that there are no parts in the database because we've not run any parts in PC Demos and sent the data to the database. You'll also notice in the lower right-hand corner of the data page software, it's displaying the database name as Grant DB1. Now, if you've selected current user when you're building the database, then the Open Database Connectivity tool in Windows will display a shortcut link to that database. Now, if you've selected all users, you won't have that link. So let me show you what we need to do next. We're going to go into Windows Control Panel. We're going to select Administrative Tools. And we're going to select Data Sources, ODBC. And this is the dialog that will appear. Now, you can see that Grant's DB1 database has been added automatically for me. If it hasn't been added for me automatically, then I could add it manually. What I can do is I can select Add, and where I'm going to choose SQL Server. I'll hit Finish. And the name is going to be the name that it will be the nickname that, that for this particular database that I've created. I'm just going to call it My Database. Under Description, you could enter something like Data Page Plus Database. And the server is going to be the SQL Express server on your local machine. So to refer to that, I'm going to type in period backslash SQL Express. And I'm going to select Next. 
And this dialogue here, how should the authenticity be, be handled? We're going to leave this on with Windows NT authentication using the network login ID and to connect to SQL Server to obtain the default settings for the additional configuration options. And then I'm going to hit Next. If you've entered any of those previous dialogues incorrectly, you won't be able to get to this stage. You'll come up with an error. If you have chosen everything correctly, this dialog allows you to map that nickname that you specified in the previous dialog to the actual name of your database. In this case, I've called it Grant DB1. Of course, I've chosen that name from this pull-down. I'll select Next. This dialog I will leave at the defaults, and the defaults are to have the check next to Perform Translations for Character Data, and I'll select Finish. And if you've done this correctly, when you select Test Data Source, you should see a dialog that says tests completed successfully. And now you can see an entry under the user DSN that refers to my database. I'm going to select OK. So if you now want to send measured data over to Data Page Plus, simply open a part program that has some dimensioning in it. And I'm just going to locate my cursor before the first dimension, and I'm going to select Insert, Statistics Command, Statistics. PCDMIS displays this dialog. We're going to select Data Page Plus under the Database Options, and under the Data Source, we're going to select Grants DB1, or the name of the database that you've created. If I hit Test Connection, we should see the Succeeded dialog appear. I'm going to select OK. Now I can simply run my part program. PCDMIS will ask if it's OK to save the stats. I will say Yes. Now if I open up Data Page Plus, and I'm going to ensure that I'm still connected to the Grant DB1 database, I'll enter my password. And if I double click on all parts now, we can see that we have an image along with the name of the part program that we've just run. If I double click on this part, we have a new dialog that appears that will allow us to build different types of reports.